Hello and welcome to the Bowler CBT Lab Security Series. My name is Matt Bowler and in this video I'll be showing you how to configure the Cisco Security Device Manager for use with GNS3. The basic network topology that I have here is uh, a loopback that's currently running on my laptop that's connected to Virtual Router 1 and Virtual Router 1 is connected to Virtual Router 2. Both of those are running within GNS3. To install the Security Device Manager, simply download the program and run the setup to get that installation started. I assume uh, if all of you are watching this video, you're advanced enough to know how to install a program, so I won't go through all of that, but you basically have three options here to install the the program you can either put it on this computer alone the router or you can put it on both the computer and the router if you don't want to waste uh, valuable flash memory on your router I suggest just installing it on this computer you don't have to have it installed on both so if you just install it on your computer you can utilize it on any router so that's what I would suggest and that's what I already have installed so we'll be going through this lab with the SDM installed on my laptop. The next thing that you're going to want to do is set up a loopback adapter, a Microsoft loopback adapter. So to accomplish that, you'll go to the control panel and you're going to want to add hardware. When this wizard comes up, you'll select next going to search to see if there's any uh, devices that have been connected to your computer. You will select yes, I have already connected the hardware. And all the way down at the bottom of the list you'll see add a new hardware device, so go ahead and select that. And you will want to install the hardware manually uh, selected from a list. Scroll down until you find the network adapters option and select the next. Under the manufacturer, you're going to look for Microsoft and install the loopback adapter. It'll go through that installation. It just takes less than a minute for sure. And I have had some issues where uh, once I actually install the adapter, I need to restart Windows to get it to rec be recognizable within GNS3. So once you install that adapter, just go ahead and uh, restart Windows. And you'll bring up GNS3. And in order to bind that actual loopback adapter to uh, one of these clouds under the node types, You'll just drag a new cloud into the topology window here and double click on it or you can right click and choose configuration. And there will be a drop down box here that's going to show all of the available adapters, network adapters. The only one that I currently have enabled is the loopback adapter. So I selected that and it's going to populate this field and I'm going to select add to bind that adapter to that cloud interface. So you can see the connection here uh, from router 1 on fast ethernet 01 is connected to a real device which is in that cloud and fast ethernet 00 is connected to router 2's fast ethernet 00 interface. I have that loopback adapter set up so that the IP address is within the subnet on that fast ethernet 01 the same subnet the 2.0 subnet so that IP is assigned the 2.10 and the default gateway is set to the fast ethernet 01 interface on router 1 which is the 2.1 address I'm going to go ahead and bring up router 1. 
bring the console up on that and we'll go ahead and just start by doing some basic configuration here we'll go into configure terminal I'm going to set the host name to R1 and go into the console port set a no exec timeout and I'm going to set the login synchronous so those login messages don't come up and push my my text uh, so it brings it down and, and pushes the text to the next line so it's easier to read okay I'll exit out of that and I'm going to assign fast ethernet 01 the IP address that I have shown here the 192.168.2.1 address with the subnet mask at 24 bits hit enter I'll do a no shut on the interface to bring that up